Hello everybody, it is Isla Thane, you the reviewer, back with another review for you guys. Gonna do a quick little review, get back into the swing of editing and filming and wanna wanna do it. I got a lot of stuff I'm behind on, so I wanna bring those things to you guys. Uh so just real quick, some I've been sitting on for a while, been wanting to try for quite some time, are these cup noodle campfire s'mores. Says just with natural artificial flavor, limited edition pan. Uh there's nutrition facts right there. Uh, ingredients right there so nothing that's gonna be too fancy here just um i believe it's got little marshmallows in there we're gonna check really quick once we confirm i don't have a microwave so won't be able to do that i'm just gonna do the usual put some boiling water on it uh microwave for three or put boiling water on it wait three minutes give it a shot then i'm hoping it's as good as the pumpkin spice one because i really 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 enjoyed that one uh so i'm hoping this does surprise me a lot Seen a lot of mixed reactions online, so I don't know which way it's going to go. I just know my opinion is final. So, yeah. Here's the top here. So, nothing crazy there. Let's go ahead and open it up. I have never tasted this. I believe this actually came out in the summer. So, that's how long I've been sitting on this. So, yeah, let's open that up. Oh, yep. So, yeah, you got tiny, tiny little marshmallows right there. So, that's cool. So, a little brown powder. I'm guessing that's the cocoa chocolatey flavor. So, yeah gonna get that pot of water going and we're gonna see what's going on all right hang tight everybody all right y'all i got the boiling water just gonna pour this in the fill line is just right above the marshmallows so we're just gonna go to that and of course be safe and be careful can't wait to see how this doesn't dissolve the marshmallows all right, so we'll get that on and wait three minutes. So I'll see you guys in just a moment. Alrighty, y'all. It's been three minutes and just kind of give you a quick look. All right, so just to give you all a quick look, it looks like everything's pretty much absorbed. I still have some of the marshmallows, but I think once I stir it, um, yeah, let's see. A little stir. Yeah, the uh, marshmallows is just pretty much completely dissolved, which I guess isn't surprising, but maybe the taste is still there. So let's see what we got. All right, first taste test. Hoping it's good. Let's see what we got. It definitely it smells like hot cocoa. It's kind of interesting. I'm not getting much in the way of marshmallows or even graham crackers it's really just mostly chocolate and even that you know it's not really clinging to the noodles it's really hard to see the sauce it smells really good it smells like hot cocoa no i can i can see what they were going for you know it's a decent effort. I wish the marshmallows could have stayed longer. You know, they kind of just, once you stir it, it's going to dissolve. You know, I guess they at least ought to put some in there for presentation. But other than that, they're pretty much gone. But is it as good as the pumpkin spice? I don't think so. But I also don't hate it either. You know, it's just there. Um, and sorry, I think I got like three or four more of these. But I can finish them. I definitely see myself finishing them and, you know, this would almost be better for Christmas, you could almost say, like when it's winter time and you want hot cocoa and Christmas vibes, but you also want some ramen. I mean, this could be something I wouldn't be surprised if they rebranded it to some kind of Hershey's Kiss chocolate Christmas tree something. But yeah, I mean, yeah, really like I would, I think I'm going to try to make a recipe of this with hot cocoa and marshmallows try to make a but better version see what might come up but yeah if i had to give it a rating though honestly i think this would just be a three stars it's not really blowing me away necessarily like the pumpkin spice one did this one is just more it doesn't offend me but it's not blowing my mind you know so i definitely could see this you know definitely stand as limited edition just a little experience i'm glad i got it I don't regret buying it at all or anything like that, but yeah, it's just, you know, nice one to try. But after that, yeah, you'll kind of just move on and wait for the next flavor. 
All right, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Leave any questions or comments down below. Have you had it? Are you still seeing it at Walmart? I'm still seeing it now, even to this day. It's now currently, you know, October 20th. And there are plenty of them at Walmart, so you might be able to find them. But yeah, I will see you guys on the next video. Later.